Hello everyone, I'm here to talk about Digital Oil, a recent book I have out with uh, the MIT Press. And as the, the title suggests, it's about digitalization. Uh, with digitalization on everybody's lips, the question is, what is digitalization and what does it entail? The way people tend to approach the issue of digital transformation or di digitalization falls into three categories. They're either very, very generic, basically saying that it's about change, which for sure is true, but not very interesting. You don't really need learn anything new. Or on the other hand, very specific with, you know, get stuck on particular technologies, AI, blockchain, Whereas what I promote is a third way, which uh, essentially portrays digitalization as an attempted quantification of quality, which is a phrase I'll explain. But what it does is that the novelty lies in the scope and scale of quantification, not quantification as such. And moreover, it's social technical, which means that it's more than the technology. Quantification is always attempts. And as we all know, attempts fail. So what does this all mean? Uh, I outline three cases. They're all um, uh, based on earlier work with close collaborators, Marius Mikalsen, Elena Parmigiani and Thomas Österli. And the three, the, the three cases of quantification are around particular objects. And we'll talk about sand, sand as in sand. We'll talk about ways of knowing and specifically looking at how people explore, that is search for oil and what I'll call machineries, which is setting up infrastructures to monitor the marine environment. Sun is an imminent risk uh, in everyday uh, production of oil and gas. Um, with uh, clear risks to, you know, to people, values and the environment. The Attempt to digitalize sand is around, is motivated by very classic efficiency concerns, cost cutting concerns. It's a risk, but it's also a routine which is fairly resource demanding, takes time, efforts, energy. So it uh, was targeted for digitalization with sensors. Sensor is throughout a key theme in my um, work because it is a way to get at the qualitative outside world, in this case, sand. In the early days, you, may, you, know, you made physical samples like this cup, run off to laboratory, is there sand or not? But you need uh, the, the story, which I won't get into the details, is then about experimentation, exploration of different types of sensors which pick up on um, traces of sand. But the whole story is again, remember what I said about attempts. It's about how early um, efforts fail, producing false alarms, nobody caring about these, um, uh, these readings, and then gradually calibrating sensors and routines so to make them what I like to call organizational real. That is, they have consequences for people's actions and decision-making. The other two examples or cases, um, first is on ways of um, knowing, in this case, the specific case is um, uh, subsurface reservoirs of oil and gas, which obviously are uh, literally, you know, untouchable, you know, kilometers below the seabed. So they are inferred by lots and lots of data produced from sensors. There is a whole 
um, you know, literature on different ways uh, of, of different types and different ways of, of massaging these, these uh, sensor information, but you uh, more often than not drown it in the amount, but still the phenomena is underdetermined. It's ambiguous, it's uncertain, it's incomplete, and they're constantly off. If there is one thing you know about sensors, is that they're always off or need of calibration. How do you grapple? How do you maneuver in this incomplete world? That is the theme. The third case, very different, is uh, the politically contested issue of environmental monitoring. So all oil and gas operators are obliged by law to monitor their environmental footprint. And this particular effort is by one operator setting up a sensor-based infrastructure monitoring various aspects of the uh, marine environment. And that story, again, the long version you'll have to look up, is about um, uh, improvising around what is feasible to capture uh, as opposed to what you really want. So particular sensors are able to pick up something and not all, and you would have to reverse engineer what is possible uh, from what you would ideally want. What is also very clear in this, this case is the way the facts about the marine environment are constructed in particular ways, which means that, um, uh, especially as they are also um, politically loaded, there are lots of controversies, has been and still is and will be, around oil and gas activities. It's a story about how these facts about the marine environment get constructed technologically. So, let me try to sort of wrap up some of the key points that I've been trying to make. The analysis of the book is then on digitalization by looking closely at these three things, as it were. Sand, reservoirs and marine environment. Uh, the focus in, in um, the analysis is not so much what do these visual, graphic, predictive models, um, what they really are. The interest lies always with what people do with them in their everyday decision and action making. So what they do, not so much what they are. Um, do people trust them? Do they... Uh, follow the recommendations and the suggestions. And that takes more than just staring on the, you know, at them on the screen. So the thrust of the analysis is what is, is you know, what will it take for consequential action um, with imperfect, incomplete, uh, uh, you know, data, digitalization, um, digital representations, sorry, of these phenomena. And this is a theme in research, but it certainly is also highly relevant for practitioners when doing this work. Mm -hmm.